welcome back i'm nicole bw and this is a small tutorial on how to build a mob farm in a sky block world so your mod pack may be a little different so the manner in which you kill the uh mobs could be different uh but let's go ahead and turn that off completely uh, the design should be about the same and there are different uh, types of mob farms all over the place people are doing different things the whole point of a mob farm is to have spawnable spaces if we hit F7 you want spaces with red X's and a way to kill them uh, so this is how I make my mob farms in the sky bo blocks I play. So the first mob farm I make is usually made out of wood. Here I made it out of stone bricks. Uh, but it's very basic. There's some spawnable spaces. And this is meant, it's three high so you can have endermen. Uh, but it's only one wide so no spiders. Uh, but it's meant for a... Uh, very early game mob farm you will have to kill them yourself so if we get out the blocks i can quickly show you oops how i make it i do too high if i have a slab of floor if i don't have a slab floor i still do too high above uh, and then put slabs around it because it's a little easier i also put blocks on each end where I put slabs on the top half of the block. Uh, I ignore the corners here because those blocks are not needed. Uh, then you want to go across on either side. It's a little more difficult when you're playing in survival and can't fly. Uh, then too high on top of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those oh why am i not using my my creative builders wand i don't know uh and then you want to put slabs on top of that if your slabs are letting light through you can put a full block here and put a slab on top of that or you can put full blocks up here uh, and then put torches up there but you do not want them spawning on the uh, top of your mob farm because that would be really really bad actually uh, so that is what I do at the very beginning when I just need like a couple ender pearls or some bone meal to make the crucible uh, I go ahead and do that because or if you want some food and get some dried uh, monster jerky that is also a good way to go now this is the next level of mob farm that I do. I don't usually put dark glass in here, but I did it just so you guys can see. And I usually have um, cheaper spikes than the diamond ones, but I put those in so that the mobs would die quickly here in this world. Uh, so all it is, is in this pack in 1.10, we have uh, mob fans from Mob Grinding Utilities in 1.7. Uh, point 10, I used conveyor belts, uh, the ones that were made from the, uh, the rails, the Minecraft regular rails, uh, those, cause those spawn mine, uh, uh, or spawn, mo spawn mobs, uh, and push the mobs that way. So you need something that will push the mobs towards the center. Uh, this one only goes five. So we have five blocks here, uh, but I can show you really quick how to do it. If we go along, you wanna do an outline for the spikes. You wanna go down one uh, there. Uh, you wanna put spikes in the center, which we have here. Um, this is all of the stuff that you need. Either you're going to want an item collector on top of a chest, or you're going to want an absorption hopper. Uh, so those will pick up the items that they drop. You want to go up at least two blocks, maybe three, uh, for 
your uh, fall from the top. You can go up as high as you want. Actually, I'm not going to show this how to do it. I'm just going to let me turn this one off and we'll look in here. So this is what it looks like. It's just platform and the fan will push them right off into the center where they'll fall and die via the spikes. So I'm not going to I'm just going to close that up with that. It looks ugly now. Uh, so that is the next level of mob farm that I usually do. Once I get enough stuff for to make spikes, to make the fans, these fans you'll want to have, because it is three wide, you'll want to have a width modifier in. Uh, so And those are made, I believe, out of a bunch of aluminum. Uh, so you'll definitely want to do that in a way to collect it. You can put this item collector on top of a drawer controller or on the back of a drawer controller so that you can go ahead and automatically uh, sort your, your mob drops as well. Now there are other mob farms that I typically don't use. Uh, this is just a cursed earth spawning room and with some sort of grinder or automatic killer in there. It does not have to be the Draconic Evolution one, uh, but you can have, if you're playing in 1.7.10, you can do uh, the regular grinder. You can do uh, anything that would automatically kill the mobs for you. Uh, you can even have fans pushing them over to spikes if you want. It doesn't matter. Here I have the absorption hopper uh, set up. I have six upgrades. I don't know if it needs six for this size, but that's the max is six. And then I have fluids going down and items going into the chest. So you can do that. And it does not have to be inside of the room. It can be outside, which is amazing. Here's one. If you build it up higher, it you can do just fall drop. Uh, and kill the mobs that way here I have diamond spikes again with another item collector on top of a chest uh, but this is the max size for the fans uh, as far as the length goes uh, the distance you can do another uh, couple of them so you can have it uh, what six wide let's see one Seven wide, I believe, is the max. Uh, so you could do seven wide rooms with just one mob fam to push them all uh, into the center. But I have three prongs here that do that. There's more spawning area. So if we back up, we can take a look. Uh, it does not want to. Uh, there we go. And they're kind of going, it's not, I don't know what the problem is with this world, but sometimes they want to spawn and sometimes they don't. It's really weird. Uh, but I usually go with something sort of like this, uh, or I'll do some sort of different shape, like a circle or something. But this is the basic idea. You want spawnable spaces. You want to push them quickly out of those spaces and to their death. The quicker you do that, the faster your mob spawner is going to be uh, and the more drops you're going to end up getting. The higher of the uh, spikes you go, you can also enchant them. I believe it's still true for 1.10 um, and get different things uh, from them with the different enchants. Uh, there's also many different ways that you can kill them. There's a mob masher. Uh, there's all kinds of things uh, depending on what kind of uh, um, mod you have in your pack that you are playing. But this is the basic idea. These are very, very basic uh, mob farms. These are the ones that I do. Again, there are many different styles out there, so I encourage you to check out YouTube uh, and find other styles. But this is very basic for how I start off with my mob farms in my Skyblock world. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you learned a little something and it answered questions. Um, 
If you have any more questions, please feel free to uh, write them down below. I read all responses to my videos and I will get back to you with an answer as soon as I possibly can. And uh, hopefully you have learned something, you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!